Uh, this camouflage net uh, will be used by our army to hide uh, soldiers, machines, weapons, everything. People are trying to help uh, um, any soldier they can find. <laughs> that other volunteers will do the same for their relatives and their friends. So here we have the building museum. The director of the museum gave this building for us to make a, a camouflage nets are responsible for this building. Uh, here we are gathering volunteers, so all people who want to join us. Uh, there are a lot of youth people, but we have also kids and older people. Uh, they're just coming uh, from uh, our uh, announcements in different social media. Uh, they're bringing uh, clothes, uh, their clothes, bad clothes, everything. We use uh, all nets that we can find, like football, volleyball, um, fishing nets. All three floors are right now full of volunteers. Uh, daily we have about 200 volunteers. And at one time when we are full, we are just closing doors and redirecting them to different other uh, places. Uh, currently we have about uh, 55 places like this in our city. The first floor where people are gathering clothes and sorting. On the second floor they are cutting it and at each floor we have the place where they are making nets. Um, over there we have the place where we are gathering already made nets and then um, yeah, different representatives uh, of different our, uh, army departments uh, are picking them up from here. Friends in the army. Yes. What are, are you in contact with them? Uh, yes. And what do they say? What are they saying to you? Um, they are not much talkative uh, because they are not allowed because of the security. They cannot uh, share any info. They can say, "I'm like uh, everything is okay. We need this, this, this. this. Uh, please contact this person or something like this." And we're just hoping they are safe. They will be safe. We really hope that uh, in such way we can impact and help our uh, army <laughs> and, and save uh, our lives of our lives.